Friday, that means that it's time for our weekly triad trivia. Of course, businesses around the triad quiz us on our knowledge on a variety of topics. So many holidays are coming up, so Foothills Brewing is here to quiz us on our holiday knowledge this week. We brought back in uh, Rachel Ellis to join us for our trivia as well. And now I'd like to welcome Chris Rhodes. He is the quiz master <laughs> at Foothills Brewing. Just brought back trivia nights a few weeks ago. So Chris, thank you so much for joining us and congrats on, on this, uh, on bringing it back. Yeah, thanks for having us back on. Good morning, y'all. Uh, we're, we're excited to be here with you today. So Chris, kick us off. What is your first question? All right, so we got some questions about March since it's right around the corner. Uh, number one is going to be about daylight savings time. So which country was the first to enact daylight savings time? So I actually knew this one because I hate daylight saving time. Because <laughs> it always curses us on the weekend mornings. Uh, I have to get up so much earlier. Uh, and it, it is Germany. Rachel, what you got? Rachel. Okay, so I know I'm wrong now. But... <laughs> I was going to say the U.S. because I also hate daylight, daylight <laughs> savings time, too. So I'm like, I don't know when it was created, but I, Probably here. I don't know. I thought it was maybe here. But Jackie seems like she's confident in I her feel, answer. I feel confident. It's one hour. Why do you guys hate daylight saving time so much? Brian, you get to sleep through it, okay? Oh, yeah, it's probably true. Um, so I, I don't know what country started. In the U.S., so Ben Franklin started it. I do know that, but I don't know if he was the first one to bring oh. it out. So I'm going to go with the United States. I'm going to agree with Rachel. Okay, cool. All right, well, it is actually Germany, so uh, <laughs> we got one right. We got one. I got right. one. It was made sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. All right, moving along, of course, fan favorites. We have March Madness coming up. So what player is the NCAA's tournament all-time leading scorer? And this one I have zero confidence in. Uh, I don't even have a guess because I was telling Brian we get these questions ahead of time, so we have time to think about them. I don't even I don't even have a semblance <laughs> of an idea. I'm not uh, He's really that... tall. Really tall, Jackie. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was really, <laughs> really helpful. Um, but I'm gonna go kick it over to Rachel, see if she has a guess. I'm gonna go with LeBron James just because it's like one of the few <laughs> basketball players I know. So we'll go with that. And I know he's great. <laughs> The, the funny true. thing about that, though, it. is he, he didn't go to college. He went right from high school to to the pros, so He's he would amazing. not have played in the NCAAs. Yeah. Oh, um, oh my God. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's okay. If you, I oh. mean, LeBron's a good guess. Yeah, that's yeah, mortifying. Whatever. It's a great guess. Yeah, yeah. He's a former He's, Heat player. That's why. I like him. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Brian, your shot seems to be in the dark, but I know you have the light. You can shed some light on this. I please. think I think I can. I, I think it's the guy, a Duke player who made the winning shot against Kentucky at the buzzer at the top of the key to win the national championship game. I think it's got something like, I don't know, 350 or 400 points lifetime. Wow. Christian Leitner. Christian Leitner. Okay. Huh. Chris, All is it right? right? Well, we got one. We got one right again. It is Christian Leitner. Yes, hey. it is. He's been All right. Yes. State. Yeah. All right, Brian, you're in this. <laughs> Chris, what's question number three? All right, question three. This one's going to be about St. Patrick's Day. Now, according to legend, what animal did St. Patrick rid Ireland of? <sighs> rid Ireland hmm. of? I was trying to think of this earlier, and I was thinking, like, it has to be something green. I don't know. But it can't, I was, the only thing that came to mind was frogs, but I was like, you can't have rid them of frogs. They have frogs still. I truly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, any, any guesses? I feel like Ireland has a lot of sheep. I've never been there. <laughs> it's like they rid it of, of them. There but they are none had, left. But they had so many of them. They were just inundated with sheep. They had to get rid of them. I don't know. It just makes sense. Okay. I don't All right. Know. Sheep is your guess. Brian? Le LeBron James. No. Um, <laughs> Ireland does not have snakes. Snakes? No, Ireland does not have snakes. Oh. <clears throat> I went five years ago. It's snakes. I'm pretty sure it's snakes. Huh. All right, Chris. That sounds right. All right, well, according to legend, after they started attacking him, he chased snakes off oh, into the Brian. sea. You know what? Thank you so, so much to St. Patrick. That, that was like folklore since I know, a kid. <laughs> learning as a kid or I'm something. I'm sorry. Like that too. I guess our schools didn't no, teach I'm us just, that. I'm sorry, I'm just saying. All right, Chris, one more question before we head into break. All right, fourth question is going to be about Mardi Gras. So in 2020, which musician was crowned King of Bacchus? So I know of the King of Bacchus, but only from like Will Ferrell being it, but I know he's not a musician, so I just don't know. He's gonna be my guess even yeah. though I know it's not correct. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I have no idea. <laughs> not, not gonna even begin to try. <laughs> We tried to think of something. I, I have absolutely, I didn't know what the King of Bacchus was. I wrote down um, meatloaf just because I didn't think of anything else and I was hungry. Chris, please lead us to the correct answer. 
All right. Well, that would be the suave Robin Thicke. Robin Thicke. Mm, okay. Robin Thicke. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> this makes so much more sense. All right. Well, Chris, we have, I think, one more bonus question for you, but that'll be coming up after this break. So stay with us, oh, everyone at great. home. Also, stay with us for one more bonus round of Try It Trivia. We'll be right back.